Hey YouTube, this is uh, Exacto Care Bear, and I'm making kind of like a um, how-to tutorial or how to get started in FL Studio. Um, this is from a request from a friend. He just got FL Studio and pretty much has no clue how to use it. Um, so, all right. Um, I'm assuming you have FL Studio at first. If you don't, you can't handle yourself, and you need to get it to learn how to handle yourself. But yeah, so uh, let's open up FL Studio. And um, this is usually like the default layout that it comes in, like whenever you first open it. And uh, I'll just take you a rundown on uh, everything. Let me just minimize all this crap. So um, this is pretty much like your directories and all that stuff. Uh, you get uh, preloaded sounds and stuff um, like drum kits and effects and guitar sounds and loops and pianos and all that all that jazz. Um, yeah, this, this, this helps a lot out if, uh, you don't like making all your instruments, your own instruments and everything, but, uh, yeah. Um, this right here is called the sequencer, se uh, sequencer, and, um, the reasons call it because you can sequence, like, sounds in, a uh, like, chronological, chronological order, or whatever, however you want to say it, um, say you want to make a really sweet drum loop or whatever, you can just throw in some kicks and some claps whatever um let me just delete um yeah that's, that's pretty boss right there you know it um over here you got like uh your volume knob and um if you don't know what something is it's a good thing to check out this little box right here so just stay watch this st look at this box and i'll move my cursor over this little volume knob and uh, it'll, it's telling you it's the channel volume. It's this channel's volume. And uh, this is the fade or panning, whatever you want to call it. This is if you want it all the way on your uh, left speaker. See, so it says uh, left 100%. And uh, right, whatever. And it kind of snaps to the middle, so you don't have to fart with it to make it perfect. Um, but yeah. Uh, say you're making a really sweet drum loop and you don't have enough space right here. You can uh, click this little thing right here. Click and hold. And move your mouse either up or down. I don't know. If you move it up, you get a uh, more um, I, the nine. I think it's like uh, this little gray part is one. This red part's one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And um, this pretty much can go on for a while. Sixty-four, which is just an obscene amount. That you, you don't need that much. If you do, you, you're I don't, I don't even know. But, um, yeah, this is a sequencer. Um, this right here is the playlist. The playlist. And if you look over there in the little window, um, well, never mind. But, uh, yeah. So, um, this is where you make your song. Um, so, okay, say you make a, a really sweet drum and you want to start out your song with that. So, you paste it right here. This is where you're going to, this is like the foundation of your song. So, um, yeah, this pattern one. This is your first pattern. To make a new pattern, you click and hold right here, this spot right here, click and hold and move up just a little bit, and it'll make the second pattern. And, um, yeah, you can just uh, do whatever. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. And just throw it in there, like just just like that. You just uh, left click, and if you want, don't want it, right click, and it'll delete it just like that. It's like it magnets or something, I don't, I don't know how it works. But, um, yeah, you can uh, have a lot of patterns. This uh, main automation, it pretty much is always there. You can delete it. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. Uh, yeah, so um, that's that. Uh, this like area right here is mainly for vocals. Like If you record your own vocals, uh, you use um, this little button right here. But, uh, yeah, so say you want to listen to your song. If you click play, it's just going to play whatever's in the sequencer, or your uh, pattern, your patterns. So you click the song little circle, and it'll play whatever's in the playlist. And you see the little time indicator. Um, so this is your tempo if you want to make it faster or slower. Slow is more for like R&B and stuff, and faster is for 
the more hard, like hardcore techno and all that. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go into all this stuff. Uh, this is not really your basic kind of stuff. Um, if you want to learn how to use all this, just watch somebody else's tutorial, I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to show you the basics. Yeah, so, um, moving on. Say, uh, you accidentally close out of this. Oh no, where'd it go? Right here, this button. Right there. You click it. Bam. It's back. Um, same with this. I don't know how you can X out of this, because there's no X, X or whatever. But if it's gone, just click this. Bam. It's right there. Uh, this is, uh, your piano roll. Oh, this is good, um, so, uh, I'm going to alright, to in insert a new sound, or to take out one, you can either delete, that will delete this one sound, or you can insert, or uh, replace, will replace whatever is in that channel, so, um, if you insert one, it's going to insert a whole new, like, sound, so instead of four, there's going to be five, so, um, I usually just click replace until I got all those filled up, or whatever, so, um, citrus is a really good thing to use, um, just if you try to like play something, it's gonna sound like really queer. So uh, yeah, click this little arrow. Go to pre. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Presets. Bam. Look at all this freaking sound. So much. Take you forever to go through all these, each one by one. So find a cool one. I personally like a uh, Roboter. Sounds awesome. Another thing, you can uh, use your keyboard as like um, a piano. You can, I can't really show you that, but uh, yeah. Um, you can mess around with that, make a little tune, and then um, if you try to uh, use your um, sequencer, if you listen, go back to pattern, it's just going to play one, it's just going to play one like, like key of that um, sound. So you right click it, and you can go to piano roll. Say so if you actually click out of the piano roll, and for some odd reason you forget how to do that, you can click this little piano, these little three keys right here. Bring up the piano roll, bam. Yeah, and you can uh, paste, paste like different um, notes and whatever. Yeah, you just gotta mess around with it. And, um, some of these controls. This will like um, change your steps and stuff for more um, I don't know precise note making. So if you click six step and six beat, you're gonna be able to move this. Uh, crap! Hold on one second. You're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to move it like very accurately. This is harder to make. Um, I don't know. You gotta be good. Just just mess around with the defaults first before you start going with all that crap. Uh, but yeah, um, painter, the uh, paint thing, we'll paint a whole bunch of them like that. Um, this deletes them. Uh, this will mute said note, whatever. Try to play. It. It's not gonna play the kind of faded out notes, click it again, left click it again to uh, undo it. This little slice thing will cut the note in half, like that. And this selects them, and um, zoom zoom in and out, whatever. Highlight it, click once, click once to zoom out, move like that to do that. Um, uh, this is like a different kind of zoom, yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Um, alright, say you got your sweet song over here, uh, and you want to finish your song, you can either save it how it is, if you like it, or you can master it, and this is your mixer, and this is like a volume knob, this is another fader pan kind of thing, um, so again, here's your patterns, so that first pattern we made was like some sort of drum thing, I think, yeah. Uh, say you want to make it sound like it's in a really big room, so you click, um, where's it at, uh, crap, 
brain fart right now. Um, wow, I can't. One second, give me a second to think. Uh, it's not delay. Um, for some reason, I want to say it starts with a D. Uh, reverb. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Free Reverb 2 is a very great tool. Um, if you click and hold, you can change, like, uh, moving up and down. We'll change, like, the, I guess, pretend like this is a room. If you play it like how it is, it's going to sound like it's in a really small room, like, less echoey. Actually, let me, um, go over here, not here, uh, oh, crap, yeah. I t got rid of the kick, so, um, yeah. It's going to sound like it's in a small room. The bigger you make it, the more more reverb it's going to have. Move it left and right, it'll change like the the bounce, like the way it bounces off the walls. It's a very hard thing to notice the sounds. You'll have to have like a really nice sound system to actually notice it. But yeah, um, those are some delays. Lot, lots of things you can mess with. This, this program is just messing around with it for a while. Uh, another thing, if you're new to this, um, I would recommend um, going to their Cool Stuff folder. Oops. Double click it, and you'll get all of these um, like uh, music people have made in this. So, uh, Dead Mouse, right there. Look at that. Bam. Um, the reason this is a good thing for like new people is they can see how people make music and stuff. Uh, yeah, like how you can just kind of um, take it down, wherever. You know. So this person they use like their patterns in this, which I think is really weird. I don't know, I'd rather use it over here, but. Uh, but yeah, you can just scroll through, see. How they did it, or whatever. If you want, break it down. Look at the stuff, like the sounds they use, and all that. Um, this is a pretty cool thing. This little dancer it dances to the tunes. <laughs> Move it to a little reflection. Yeah. Um, I think I'm running a little bit low on time. I can't tell. I don't know. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you don't have this program and you want to um, know how to get it, subscribe and uh, send me a message. Once I get enough messages on how to get this program, I'll make a tutorial on how to get it. But um, there's plenty on YouTube. But if you want me to make one, I'll make one just for you. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and peace out.